Hello everyone and welcome to another Zettelkasten video. My name is Christian and I'm going to show you the very basic interaction patterns to use with TextMate 2 for macOS to get your Zettelkasten up and running. TextMate is a free open source Mac app. You can grab it at macromates.com and I encourage you to check it out. It's a very versatile plain text editor and we're going to use it to manage my Zettelkasten here. You see, it's the whole Zettelkasten. There's a very, very small scroll bar indicating a lot of nodes and TextMate has no problem managing these many files. To create nodes, I suggest we rely on the new file in the current folder functionality and not just on the generic new file functionality because this speeds up things a lot. And with that, we get a new tab for the file that was created. We get the file here and I'm going to rename it. I prepared this name in advance, of course. And There you go. The new name is reflected here, but the file scrolled out of view. We can use this functionality, select current file name bound to command control R and TextMate will scroll to this position. I have an older note that you may be familiar with. It's the structure note for the book Range by David Epstein. And I can employ the same trick and scroll to the position back in September 2019. You see, my usual wiki links are highlighted, they are underlined, but they are not clickable. I can click on them all day, nothing will happen. What I have to do instead is to double click, for example, to select the word, copy, and then use TextMate's open quickly command, which uh, is a fuzzy file finder inside the current folder. And then I paste in the search term, which is the idea just copied. And there you go. I hit enter to select the file. It was already open in another tab. But to show you this a bit quicker, command C, command T, command V to paste, enter to select. And there we navigated around. Oh, there's another link. Let's do it with the keyboard only. So we're starting here, I hit uh, left arrow, left arrow, select this word, command C, command T, paste and open. Works like a charm. And because there are multiple tabs, I can uh, close all of them in succession and then get back to the note I came from. So we covered node creation, we covered wiki links. Full text search is a bit disappointing because to get the full text search find in the current project or find in the current folder, which is rather similar. Um, you're going to find the current project here. And there you see when I search for uh, the term metaphysics, I get a lot of notes. But I've, if I search for this and oh, let's say, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do this. And now the search result that I just had was gone. If I search for meta and philo, Nothing happens, but I'm pretty sure I got a note that has metaphysics and philosophy in it. That's because TextMate doesn't do a fuzzy search in the full text. It does a literal search. So it expects this whole phrase in that succession, this word with the space in between and then this word. But that's not something that I wrote. Apparently, I know that I wrote David Range, you know, David Epstein. And there you go two words and they are treated as one search phrase. There's nothing to do about this in the vanilla TextMate setup. It's just the way TextMate works. It's a limitation, but it makes you even happier when you have notes with a lot of links to get around because you do not need the full text search anymore. So that's all I wanted to show you. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.